In Warcraft Legion, Azeroth is being invaded by the demon army the Burning Legion. But no one cares! They added crispy bacon to Warcraft. The demons will die from heart disease. Warcraft's newest class is the Demon Hunter. Who are they? In Warcraft lore, they are Italian night elves that roleplay demon hunters. Then they became real demon hunters after wishing upon a star. In this guide, I shall roleplay as one. Most of you probably don't care about character creation, but it's actually very, very important. For example, tattoos. What if we don't like our demon hunter job? Then we don't want our tattoos to show during a job interview. Second important decision, do we want horns for defense or to attract potential mates? Name. I could use a demonic name like Dratasur, Akasora. Or I could pick something realistic, like... Uh, Kevin. Nah, I'll name him after my favorite YouTuber. This is Illidan. One day he saw this thing and decided to eat it. Then he turned into this. We, the demon hunters, work for him. We get one week vacation and to get a job we had to relocate to another planet, but it feels like we're doing a difference. The day started normally, there was a team building exercise, but then during our lunch break uh, our office building got attacked by an army, and now we are forced to invade the demon home world. Our mission is to find a green rock, which is going to be hard because everything is green. Here you learn all the demon hunter abilities, should probably have learned them before before invading a place full of mighty demons. But this is what happens when you lie on your resume. Yes, I do know Excel. A spider bat loudly declared that she had the green stone in her pocket. Kinda stupid of her, but good for us. Time to return. Ah oh, shit, they captured Illidan. I'm innocent though, I just work in elf resources. I'm sorry, how is that racist? Let me explain. Where am I? Whoa, ma'am, ma'am, calm down. Oh, okay, okay. It's 2016. Everything is different. And worst of all, I missed the premiere of High School Musical 2. We are in a prison that is being attacked by a demon named Ballsax. And the cops wants us to help them fight. Not my problem, I'm leaving. I think the Burning Legion just kidnapped my boss. He signs my paychecks, and like that it became my problem. Demon Hunters, find the one named Archmage Snow. So we kill Balsax and leave the prison, and outside we find... Uh, apparently he can't defeat Legion without us. That's really great, Khadgar. It's just one thing. The Legion is a Legion, right? Well, if you haven't noticed, we are 24 people. Wow, Khadgar. You're a pretty shit mathematician. He teleports me to Ogrimmar and tells me to go to this building to join the Horde. Uh, hi. Khadgar said I was supposed to go here to sign up with the Horde. Okay, starting to feel like I walked in on something. Can, can someone just hand me like a form or... Okay. Now we are at a funeral, but I didn't know the guy, so I doubt he left me anything. This is Sylvanas. She used to be the queen of good skeletons, but now she's also the queen of green people and cows. Very expansive and complex universe. Khadgar informs us that the city of Dalaran is under attack! But when you get there, the wizards teleport the city. Why did I have to be here? You're a big boy, Khadgar, it's not like you needed my permission. Then out of nowhere, a demon hunter tells us that our sword is for kindergarteners and all the cool elves have ancient artifacts. Would prefer swords made with modern technology and not brown broken pillows. Kinda feel like they belong in a museum, but whatever. Demon hunters also get a new base. This place is not a good work environment, it's crowded and it doesn't even have a ping pong table. The demons are storming out of the tomb of Sargeras and to seal it we need the five pillars of creation, powerful relics that fell out of some god's toolbox. Then Khadgar can use those relics to fail to close the portal. First travel to Stormheim, which is Old Norse and translates to Badger Urine. Our first target is the Aegis of Agrimar. An Aegis usually refers to a shield, but in this case it's a ballistic missile system. On our way we get attacked by the Alliance. How is the Alliance still a thing? All the ships got destroyed though, and Sylvanas is gone so we have to find her. 
Actually, no, she'll be fine. Not like wolves ate her, because they wouldn't touch rotten meat. To get the relic, we have to pass three ancient trials. First, the trial of might. Let this guy fight this boss. Yeah, someone else proved my might. Trial of will. Ride dragons. To ride dragons you can do the quest chain, but I don't have the will. You can pay for it, but it's an overpriced tourist trap. So I pray to the gods, and they sent down the holy divine 20% coupon. Still expensive. Trial of Valor. Become popular with the ghost kids. A guy named Skovald is doing the trials for the legion. The problem is that he is way more worthy than me. Look at him. And that's when I understood the final trial. I don't have to change to make the ghosts like me, I just have to be myself. Trials finished, now to enter the Hall of Valor, a dungeon full of these off-brand store version gods, like Fenrir. Kill Skovald, then fight Odin to prove our valor, our heroic courage that we don't actually have hitting Odin from behind. So only the tank got the Aegis of Agrimar. I only got this picture of our time together. Whatever happened to Sylvanas? I don't know enough about wolves. Now we are off to High Mountain. Which is a weird name, considering Stormheim had higher mountains. The relic we are looking for is the hammer of... Uh, no, it's a hammer. They don't have names. 10,000 years ago, demons invaded this place, and a chief named Holm used the hammer to build a kick-ass treehouse. Then he put up a No Demons Allowed sign. They won the war. Cow people guarded it all this time, but then one day Dragul the Underking stole it as a social experiment. But he doesn't realize that it's not a war hammer, it's a hammer for carpentry. Maybe he won't be able to kill cow people, but he could build a couch. I promised the cow people that I would take it back, so let's kick his- What the fuck has happened? What the fuck? The following quests are to unite the tribes. One of the cows was actually a dragon and oh wait, did that actually happen or am I hallucinating from mad cow disease I I really need to leave this place right now but someone needs to stand up to the under king but someone else needs to stand up to the under king Valshara is an artificial forest made to look like the Emerald Dream, a popular night elf tourist destination. Kinda like a Warcraft Epcot. This tour guide takes us to meet Scenarius, the owner of the theme park. Wasn't he killed? Why doesn't anyone in this universe stay dead? The theme park owner refuses to wake up. Demonic corruption or a bad hangover? The druids will know, so we gather all the druids and instead of brewing some coffee or something, they summon a dragon? I don't think night elves know how sleep works. Also is this a good idea, if they could corrupt that guy why wouldn't they corrupt? What did I tell you? What did I fucking tell you? The demons also kidnapped our tour guide. Why am I starting to feel like I'm soloing the entire Burning Legion here? Is this the real reason you all unfroze us? To outsource your problems? Bloody dragon, it's not like it's going to die anyways. Oh, the dragon actually died. I don't believe you. Our final mission is to enter the nightmare and rescue our tour guide. N nightmare, as in bad dream? How does this work? Aren't dreams just consequences of REM sleep? So, and they threw me out and I am not allowed to return. They didn't even give me a relic. I hate night elves. When you saw it on the map, you probably thought, oh, a cool jungle location. No, it's a fucking swamp. And now it's being invaded by the legion and fish. How demons and tuna became allies, I don't want to know. We meet up with the DH boys and get informed that if we don't start going back to work, we will be fired. Find demon hunters that might have joined the legion to gain infinite power. Wait, we, we can join the legion and gain infinite power? What the fuck, then why am I with these guys? They put horns on houses. On Asuna we meet the Nightborn, a PC term for Night Elf mana addicts. They say their mana abuse can't be treated, but the truth is Night Elves thinks that a giant inanimate rock is responsible for quite literally everything, so they aren't going to care about psychology. A lazy dragon tells us that we seek the Tide Stone, and a ghost prince will show us where it is. As we walk with the prince, people say mean things to him. Oh god, we're in an anti-bullying ad, aren't we? Apparently he did something bad, now everyone hates him because someone made an exposed video. The Tidestone is in a wizard school. 
a wizard school card gar. Do we know anyone that could use a wizard school? But when we get the Tidestone, these guys freeze us. Something I'm getting kinda used to. But the prince rescues us. He tells us the most bullshit story ever about our rescue, but everyone believes him and now wants to be his friend. Stop bullying, or this shit will happen. Wait a minute, the relic? Whatever happened to the Tidestone? So I never got any of the relics. But after leveling the newest Warcraft skill, I could make them in paper mache. Not like anyone's gonna notice. When we reach level 110, a ball appears. Then the ball becomes a Star Wars reference. Apparently, Khadgar is her only hope. Better buy a grave spot. Now it's my job to save her. Why me? Every, every single fucking time. There she is. After she's secure, she tells us the story of her people. Everything was great. Then the Legion showed up and they weren't sending their best so we built a wall. The wall blocked out the sun and the moon. Then we drank some water and it changed us. Then... I'm going to stop you right there. You blocked out the sun. Have you considered that you changed because of vitamin D deficiency? It would probably be your first thought if the night elf weren't brain dead. Now she's leading a rebellion and wants us to help her with her terrorism. Though the local population supports the legion, but we need to intervene to stop its spread. So we kill some innocent people, assassinate some leaders. You might be critical of our methods, but listen to Archmage McCarthy. N no Wait... Oh god, I'm the Central Intelligence Agency. I quit. Bye forever, Khadgar. Illidan had a message for me, so... There's little time, listen closely, blah blah blah, the demon hunters are now yours, Killian Experience. What? I'm the least worthy person ever, and you would realize that if you had a brain. And that's when it hit me. I don't think night elves know how sleep works. They aren't going to care about psychology. It would probably be your first thought if the night elf weren't brain dead. Night elves do not have brains. Literally. Explains how they can live so long. When you die, your brain dies. But if you don't have a brain, you can't die. When you get a bruise, your skin becomes purple. Then the brain tells the skin not to be purple. But if you don't have a brain... I have a master's in biology. You know what though? Fuck all of Azeroth, I hope the Burning Legion turns it into toast. I do feel bad about killing that dragon though. Are you Killian Experience? Uh, yeah? I got a letter for you. A letter? Dear Killian, I am alive and well. I've been living happily these past 8 months, in the year 1885. Your friend in time, the dragon. 1885?! The dragon's alive! She's in the Old West! And in another universe? Uh, actually, it would probably be better if she was dead. And that is the Killian experience. <laughs>